Hey everyone, Jaina here. Today we're going to talk about your new secret ingredient, finishing salts. These little guys will give a new spring to the step in your old tired recipes. Sometimes we're sweet, sometimes we're spicy, but today we're getting salty. In recent years, finishing salts have started to pick up a little bit of steam. And I think part of the reason they're doing that is because not only do they act like a great flavor enhancer, but they act as an aesthetic enhancer as well. They bring new life to the appearance of your dishes. I'm not endorsing any specific brand of finishing salt. There are so many out there and I use a multitude of them with all of my cooking. I just want to kind of give you a little introduction into what's available to you. The basic functionality of salt is to serve as a flavor enhancer. When the sodium chloride hits the saliva in your mouth, it causes a chemical reaction which makes your taste buds more sensitive thereby enhancing the flavors of everything that goes in your mouth. Before we get into the flavors and the textures, I want to just give you a basic introduction by showing you Molden salt. It was one of the first, it was, came into popularity probably about 10 years or so ago, and I'm going to show you the difference between that and the salts you're probably used to using every day, your iodized table salt or your cracked sea salt. Here's your iodized salt or table salt. It is a processed salt, so it's not quite as good for you as the rest of the salts. All the minerals have been removed. This is your sea salt, which is a great alternative. It's still packed with minerals. And here is your Malden's finishing salt. Look at that. The, can you hear the nice little crunchies? And what's really neat is they come in little pyramids. Most finishing salts come from either evaporated seawater or they're mined from the earth, but both are a great alternative to your table salt. Neither of them have the minerals removed. So you're eating not just sodium chloride, but you're actually getting some mineral content in those salts. There are so many amazing flavors to choose from. You will never be at loss when you're trying to enhance one of your favorite dishes. I've laid out some of the flavors here just so you can get an idea of how they change in visuality and composition. We've got chipotle. If you look closely, you can actually see little flakes of pepper in there. Then we have black salt, which is a nice basic salt. Then we have citron or lemon sea salt. Then we have wild garlic, which is one of my personal favorites. I love to just put that on a green salad. And then to change it up, we have smoke flavored finishing salt. Now those flavors might all sound pretty savory so far, right? But check out my smoke salt. I love that salt and I actually put that in my hazelnut mochaccino cookies. Once the cookies are placed on the baking sheet and ready to go in the oven, I sprinkle a little bit of the smoked flaked salt on top. It adds an amazing caramel-esque flavor that really heightens the mocha and the chocolate. And that recipe is available on nutritionicity.com. Another one of my favorite dishes to kick up with finishing salts is a basic tomato salad. Let me show you how to do that. First, get a tomato. There we go. That's about one beefsteak tomato in about six slices. Next, grab a little bit of olive oil and drizzle it across the top. Take your black pepper, crack that. Depends how much you like, whatever your preference is. And now, here's where the magic is. Now the wild garlic finishing salt makes a perfect addition to your tomato salad but I like to kick it up even further. And I add some lemon finishing salt as well. Instead of vinegar, it adds a nice acidic touch. I've highlighted some of the flavors available with the Falk salts, but there are so many flavors out there. Depending on the maker, they will have different flavor combinations and packages available. If you're just starting out with finishing salts, you might want to purchase one of these sample packs to try and get an idea of where your flavor preference lies. 
A lot of these are available in the gourmet stores like Williams Sonoma and Sur La Table. You can get them at some of the supermarkets like Wegmans. And of course, worldwide, they are available on Amazon. And just to give you an idea about price point, the Malden runs about $9, the Das Gourmet runs about $16, and the Caravelle runs about $18. And the folk salts, they range about eight to $10. It just depends on the size that you get. Now, something we haven't talked about yet is the vegan and gluten-free aspect. Most finishing salts are in fact vegan and gluten-free. But a point of note, there are a few that do contain natural flavoring. So you're gonna wanna check that specific brand if you do see natural flavoring in the ingredients and make sure that it is a gluten-free natural flavoring. As for the plant-based aspect, most finishing salts are plant-based. It never hurts to read the label though. I would just totally encourage you to experiment with these finishing salts. Get a sample pack, try out the flavors, throw them in your dishes, and see how it goes. These will become your new secret ingredient. You will have people asking you, what did you do to that cookie? What did you do to that salad? and it will all be thanks to the finishing salts. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.